We have quite the spectacular show across northern California right now. We've heard a bit about that solar storm rated as a G4, so a severe solar storm out there. Uh, but for those uh, even in the Sacramento Valley, if you or the foothills or the Sierra, if you're away from the light pollution and you turn and you look toward, we have to say this, the northern sky, uh, and you turn up the exposure on your phone. Uh, okay, so that's how you it do it. Down. <laughs> yeah, turn it up. And then uh, let that picture sit for about three to five seconds, and you may be able to see okay. some of that red or green hmm. hue in the sky Turn it up, right not now. Down. Up. Turn it up. Exposure up. Trick. Yeah. Well, okay. Let's dive more into this because that's yeah. it's fascinating, right? Yeah. So the spectacular show in the sky we talked about, yeah. it also triggered a warning yeah. from Noah. You got that and on And I your just got yeah. a new extended warning <laughs> on my cell phone here. I've subscribed to Noah's uh, space uh, mm -hmm. system that's tracking this and yeah. issuing those because it's, like you said, not just here in Northern California, but people as far south as my hometown, Nacogdoches, Texas, also sending me in some stunning photos on social media. Somebody in Stockton even said they saw something but this warning of this solar storm it could also impact work that's underway right now to help those after hurricane milton this dazzling display from space was captured monday by astronauts aurora borealis triggered by a surge in solar activity from space sparked by a very intense flare on the surface of the sun. It's caused by something called a coronal mass ejection. If it sounds fancy, that's because it is. It happens when gases on the sun explode violently, causing those pops of blue seen here in images from NOAA and potentially triggering severe interference reaching all the way to Earth. That could affect GPS, power grids, radio communication systems. Raj Dixit with the Sacramento Valley Astronomical Society snapped these photos of the northern lights in May from Placerville. He says people have a similar chance to see the same stunning sights in parts of California Thursday into Friday. But with the dazzling display comes real implications. NOAA warning the solar spectacle could hamper efforts happening right now to coordinate rescues and communication on the ground after Hurricane Milton. Intense discharges from the sun during this type of event can trigger blackouts and other problems. Last time there was a blackout was back in the 80s, but good news so far, no reports of interference right now on the ground there in Florida. The solar storm, though, as I mentioned, they've extended that warning until tomorrow night. And Raj says the best chance for you to see them here in Northern California between 830 and 9 o'clock. And then you heard Nick say you got to look due north and turn the exposure up. up. Okay, nice. now we know. It's pretty fascinating though, right? It really right? is, and usually you have to go pretty far to see this. Mm. I know, oh, not this time. So beautiful, I miss it every time. I'm gonna Me try too. this time. All right, tomorrow. Morning. Yes, we're, we're doing do it. it. <laughs>